The future is not something we enter, it's something we create. And in this video, guys, I will share with you three principles to help you start 2020U in the best possible way, but also to make this year your best year ever. So let's get into it. The first principle, guys, is to know exactly what you want. In other words, in cliche words, set goals. What are your goals? What do you want to create? What do you want to achieve? Who do you want to be in this year? I know what you think. You may be thinking, okay, setting goals is cliche. I'm tired of it. I'll write it down, blah, blah, blah. But the reason why we need to have goals, guys, is because our mind is like a GPS. And the more you know exactly what you want, the more you can focus, the more you can have a clear intention, a clear picture in your mind of exactly what you want, the easier it is for you to get there. But imagine you get in a car and your GPS is just, you know, pushing random and you're just letting the road take you wherever the road leads you're going to be at the mercy of life randomness or you will be used to help other people achieve their goals which is fine as well but it depends on what you want so getting into your car and driving the car and taking control of your life by inputting in your gps in your mind exactly what you want and writing it down on paper in details gives you a map gives you a place a destination and the more you focus on that and the more you make it clear and the more you get emotionally involved in that vision, the more you can start to move forward and manifest and bring this into your life. And that's why principle number one is have clear intention, clear goals, a clear vision, clear objectives, whatever you want to call it, whatever words works for you. Another reason why this is so important is because progress leads to happiness. So when, you, when you're in the movement, when you have the momentum towards your goal, how does that feel? Think of a time when you were expanding, doing something new, taking risks, expanding out of your comfort zone. You felt alive, didn't you? And when we feel alive, we feel like we're progressing. And that brings motivation. That brings passion. That brings enthusiasm. That brings, I want to do more. And that's the fuel that we need to keep doing what we need to do in order to get and manifest what we want. So know exactly what, we, what you want and write it down, guys. The second principle to help you create an outstanding year is to have a positive mental attitude. Having goals and knowing exactly what you want is great, but it's not enough. It's not enough if you go after it with the same old attitude or the same old mindset or the same old state of consciousness that you had in your life up to now. Because if you want something new, you need to become someone new. You need to expand your mind, you need to expand your energy, you need to expand your attitude. Imagine you wanna pick up a new language and you start with the attitude, oh my God, this is hard and this, this is, I'm a slow learner, I was never good at languages and oh my God, this is, I don't understand. Imagine having this attitude, starting to learn a new language. How long are you gonna last? Not too long, in my opinion. Imagine starting a project with like, oh, it's never gonna work out, it's too hard, I don't have the time, the money, nobody's gonna watch it. If you have that defeated victim mentality and attitude that so many people have, or that doubtful attitude when they start something new, how far is that gonna take you? Is this what you need to bring to life what you desire? So ask yourself, what is attitude do I need in order to manifest and bring what I want and create what I desire in my life. If you want more success, can you start to see yourself as a successful person already? Can you start to walk and dress as a success? Can you have the inner dialogue of a successful person? If you want more abundance in your life, are you gonna wait until you get a raise or until you get more money to start to feel and be an abundant person? Are you going to wait until you start to believe that you can manifest more money, that you can find new opportunities, that you can find a better paying job if that's what you want, that you can get your dream job? So the moment you take responsibility for your life and you become 
the person that is going to manifest and create what you want in your life. That's when things start to happen. And that's why we need that attitude. That's why we need to be able to go at the end and ask ourselves, what is the state of consciousness? What is the self-image? What is the attitude that is going to bring to life what I desire? And start living it now. Become that person now. Show up in your life with that attitude. Treat other people with that attitude. And that things starts to happen with you guys. You cannot just wait and then be happy. That's your ego and it's going to play tricks on you and it's going to tell you to wait and it's going to wait and it's going to find excuses for you to wait and feel separate from what you want. Become that person and the result will follow. And that is the second principle. Create a powerful attitude. The last principle for you guys is the golden rule. The golden rule basically states treat others as you would like to be treated. And this one may seem a little bit like, well, how has that anything to do with my goals or creating a best year? Well, think about this. Can you succeed alone? Can you be happy alone? Can you live a life that is rich and meaningful alone? The answer, the honest answer is probably no. Nobody can succeed alone. We are all inter interdependent. We are all interconnected. We are all one. And so to create an outstanding life for ourselves is usually having outstanding quality, outstanding people around us, having people and friends and family and strangers and clients and all of those people around us that contribute to creating this amazing life that we have. Unfortunately, our mind can create a lot of complaint, a lot of blame, a lot of judgment, a lot of dirt, negative voice. So the golden rule invites you to treat and give to other people exactly that which you want to receive. If you want to be more respected, if you want to be loved, if you want to be heard, if you want to, be, if you want to feel significant in your life, don't wait for other people to give it to you. Start giving it to other. Start praising other. Start, being, start listening to other. Start giving them compliments. Start you know, being more loving, more kind, more compassionate. The moment you start to give this, and when you give this, I mean this, don't give it in a way to expect or get something out of them. Just, that will backfire on you. But give genuinely because you can, because it doesn't cost you anything, and because you know that what you give genuinely will come back. Maybe it will not come back from those people, but it will find you back. And I guarantee you, the moment you give, not only you start to feel good in the moment, but you start to change also a lot of your subconscious programming and a lot of your self-image. And that's why the third principle to treat others the way you want to be treated is so important and can literally transform your life. Even if you don't do principle one and two and you just start to treat others differently and you start to release judgments and complaints and blames and you start to give more love and more appreciation and more kindness and you start to wish people the best your life will become completely and radically different everyone everyone craves a feeling of importance and significance we all do and if you can start giving this genuinely to other people without expecting anything in return you'll be amazed in an amazing way this will come back to you and you'll find your own life becoming meaningful significant those are the three principles, guys, to create not only a phenomenal year, but beyond a phenomenal life. Know exactly what you want, set goals, have intentions, write it down. Two, create an attitude that supports the goals, and the, uh, the goals that you have, the intentions that you have, what you want to create. Ask yourself, what is the attitude that I need in order to bring this to life? And third, ask yourself, how do I want to be treated? How do I want to be, you know, how do I want to feel in my life? And then start treating your close friends and your family and your girlfriend or boyfriend or strangers or colleagues in this way. Be that light in the world and you'll see that it come back multiplied to you. Those are my three principles.
to create an outstanding year, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Share this video with people who might need it. Please like and comment. And I will see you. And subscribe, please, as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be well. I wish you a phenomenal year. See you next time.